when you put these restrictions up, and that's, what I, that's what my first question is, how bad do you want this? If it's as bad as you want to live or breathe or sleep, whatever the hell it may be, I can work with you. But a lot of people, most people don't want it that badly, which is why they always ask the question, man, how did you get to where you are? You know how to do it. You know exactly how to be you or how to be me. You don't want to do it. What's the best piece of advice you've ever got? I've had so much, but I think one of the most important ones was early in my life, uh, one of my mentors, a man named Jim Rohn said, Tony, all you have to focus on in your life is find a way to add more value than anybody else does, and you'll never have to worry about anything. Be the person that does more for others, and life will just be anything you want out of it, really is what it is. And so, and he also said the way to do that is every day work harder on yourself than anything else. Because if you become more intelligent, more valuable, more skilled, you can add more value to other people. So I can't make you do it, nor do I have the time or energy to force you into that place that I know you have to be to do it. There's no luck in this game, man. It may be a little bit of luck, but the luck happens after you bust your ass and you put yourself in that lucky situation. Luck doesn't happen. You put yourself in that situation where luck might happen. And that's what people don't know. But to get there, luck ain't gonna happen. You have to put yourself in that situation, man. It takes a lot of work. Monday, get better. Tuesday, get better. Wednesday, get better, right? And you do that over a period of time you know not like one month or two months i mean it's three four five six seven eight nine ten years and then you you know you can get to where you want to go this year i'm gonna get better at that mm. next year this and then so forth and so on and then patiently i was able to catch him when i first walked into the navy seal recruiter's office he looked at me and said there's only been 35 african americans in 70 years make it through you know what i said to myself what if i can be the 36th it's the what if I can pull off a f miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? I would rather die than be that loser guy. Think about that. Do you want to walk out that door a damn loser or do you want to walk out the door a winner? That, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fight to the death. It sounds crazy, but you got to give it that much. If you want results, otherwise you'll be like everybody else. It's not about the running the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting after it every daggone day. Stay hard. When you eat a f***ing great juicy steak, man, you want to have that again. When you go out and you train hard to play baseball and you connect and you hit the winning home run, you want to feel that way again. When you taste these finer things of life, all the pain, all the work, all the sacrifice to get them is well worth it. I'm convinced that about half of what separates the successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. It is so hard. You pour so much of your life into this thing. There are such rough moments in time that most people give up.